On March 26, 1903, an inaugural crowd of 3,000 Gilded Age elites gathered to watch the first official motor races on the shore just north of Daytona Beach, Florida. There, on the wide, sandy stretches in front of the Orman Hotel, a small group of motoring pioneers unloaded their automobiles in hopes of seeing who was the fastest man on Earth. In that moment, Orman Beach became the birthplace of speed. On hand were titans of the Industrial Revolution, Old World Gentry and Dapper Daredevils, all gathered to bask in the sun and take in the thrill of modern speed. As the crowds gathered on the beach, a lone but determined motorcyclist made his way down to the shoreline. The man was well known, a former champion of the bicycling circuit, who had been tinkering away in his machine shop in Springfield, Massachusetts for the past couple of years. His motorcycle, what may have been one of the first racing motorcycles in the world, was a crude yet elegant single-cylinder design. The man was named Oscar Hedstrom, one of American motorcycling's founding fathers, and across the oddly shaped fuel tank on his motorcycle was painted a now iconic word, Indian. The motorcycle itself was born on the racetrack. Its creation, the combination of rapid industrial innovation and the unrestrained passion for bicycle racing at the turn of the 20th century. The introduction of the gasoline internal combustion engine in Europe generated a flurry of new mechanical applications including an array of vehicles to usher in a horseless age. Among the earliest implementations was a motorized pacing cycle, a tandem two-wheeler used in the most popular sport of the era, bicycle racing. Multi-rider pacing cycles had been used to create slipstreams for the cycling stars for the better part of a decade. But once the engine was attached, the machines became a marvel of sights, sounds, smells, and speeds unlike anything anyone had ever experienced before. The spectacle and novelty made the motorized pacing machines an instant sensation at the country's wildly popular bicycle velodrome races. And in an instant, a market for a single rider civilian motorcycle emerged. By the turn of the 20th century, a new industry exploded as spirited engineers and ambitious entrepreneurs began adapting and marketing the latest technology for everyday use. The motorcycle had arrived. Daring enthusiasts and champion cyclists alike could be found gathering at local horse tracks, like Los Angeles's Agriculture Park, to test their machines against one another. It was there, at Agriculture Park on May 7, 1901, that former cyclist Ralph Hamlin and his two and a quarter horsepower Orient bested three other entrants in what is credited as America's first motorcycle race. Hamlin covered 10 miles in a shade over 18 minutes, with an average speed of 32.2 miles per hour. Found in nearly every community across the country, these horse tracks nurtured the talents of aspiring motorcycle races and provided an enthusiastic public with the perfect venue to witness the birth of American motorcycle racing. Soon, various events materialized, centering around the endurance and reliability of the rapidly developing machines. By September 1903, the Federation of American Motorcyclists was formed to regulate competition, promote the interest, and organized motorcycle clubs across America. It was earlier that same year, in March 1903, on the hard-packed sands of Ormond Beach, Florida, that America's speediest elite gathered to duke it out. In total, only three automobiles and a single motorcycle, piloted by Oscar Hedstrom, made record runs in 1903 between the dunes and the Atlantic, where the beach stretched out to the horizon. Hedstrom, former cycle racer, aspiring engineer and co-founder of the Hindi Manufacturing Company, makers of the legendary Indian motorcycle, was the sole two-wheeled entry. He raced the new machine, unlike Indian's production model at the time, what could be considered the first Indian factory racer ever built. Hedstrom built his three-horsepower single-cylinder racer by modifying one of his early motorized tandem pacers, also known as stayers in the sport of cycle racing. Before Indian, Hedstrom had built three tandem pacing machines, branded as the Typhoon with his cycling partner Charles Henshaw just before the turn of the century. The Typhoon pacers were built utilizing Hedstrom's modified French-made de Dion Bouton engine, and it was while pacing at the seven-day races in Madison Square Garden in January 1901 that he connected with George Hindy, another cycling magnate, and agreed to pursue manufacturing civilian motorcycles together. It was one of those earlier typhoons that Hedstrom altered to make his land speed motorcycle for the Orman Run in 1903, indicated by the beefier de Dion type engine, unique fuel tank, and loop frame features all found on the typhoon. 
Hedstrom rode his prototype racer to a top speed of 57 miles per hour on the sands at Worman Beach, and in doing so set a new land speed record for the American Mile in just one minute, three seconds. The 1903 run wouldn't be the last time Oscar Hedstrom ventured onto the sand at Ormond Beach to test the top speed of his Indian racers. He returned year after year, often with new prototypes and occasionally challenged by fellow pioneers. One such challenge came in 1904 when Hedstrom went up against Glenn Curtis and his new Hercules V-Twin in Ormond Beach, a moment which hastened the development of Indian's first V-Twin prototype later that year. As a brand, Indian became a dominating force in American motorcycle racing and would continue to stake its claim to the fastest motorcycles in the world on the Floridian sands for decades to come. In the years following, Ormond Beach hosted the world's motoring elite as the crowds poured in to watch. In the first decade of the 20th century, the annual carnival of speed swelled in size. The Ormond Garage was soon constructed along with a racer's clubhouse. Long before Brooklyn's, or Bonneville, before Indianapolis or Altoona, it was the little town on the north end of Daytona that became home to the fastest men on earth. It was the center of the racing universe and earned Ormond Beach its title as the birthplace of speed. <laughs>